Go ahead, make my day. Entrepreneurs need a little dirty Harry attitude to succeed. Entrepreneurs, especially early stage ones, are often too nice for their own good. And equally often, it costs them both time and money. Because their companies are young and small, they frequently suffer from doubt and uncertainty and try too hard to please, whether it be with prospective customers, suppliers, or employees. Anyone who's any kind of old film buff is familiar with the Clint Eastwood character of Dirty Harry Callahan, a San Francisco homicide inspector in a series of movies in the 70s into the late 80s. Some of his key quotes are part of our everyday lexicon. Dirty Harry had a unique, hard-edged personality that exuded attitude while taking down the bad guys. Sometimes you need a little of the attitude of a Dirty Harry to give yourself a bit of a tougher edge. While Dirty Harry is an extreme and you don't face the kind of bad guys he did as a small business, there are always situations and individuals that require it. And some of the more infamous quotes, all with attitude, can be readily applied to your business. Your mouthwash ain't making it. Sometimes if you're being professionally maltreated or disrespected by a customer or supplier because they think you need them more than they need you, you just got to stand up to them. Not returning the bad treatment or the lack of respect, but simply telling them that their behavior is no longer going to be acceptable in a business relationship with you and your company. They may walk away, but better the chances they won't and will have a new respect for you. You've got to ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? This one may not be in the same context as the movie, but it's still applicable to you when all the signs suggest that you walk away from a situation, but all the homework you did in your gut says yes. Entrepreneurs need to learn to listen to that small voice that emanates deep inside and whispers in your ear. You make your own luck by a combination of how hard you work and how opportune your timing. Some days, your gut tells you when you're feeling lucky. A man's got to know his limitations. This is really the counter to the previous quote. There are some situations where even if you succeed, you can fail. A sale where you couldn't possibly meet the delivery schedule. An employee whose salary requirements would strap the company. Office space that would put you on the map would make your cash flow nut nearly impossible to meet each month. You have to know your limitations and in knowing them, be able to say no. Go ahead, make my day. This is simply operating with more of an attitude than your company's size and history might dictate. It's conveying to the market that you are a force to be reckoned with. It's displaying the confidence to customers that you can meet their needs and they should do business with you. It's being not afraid to take on a larger competitor head on where previously you wouldn't dare. Attitude is everything. It affects how you feel, how you think, and how you act. Many stress having a positive attitude. I say have an attitude positively. To succeed as an entrepreneur is a huge challenge. Because of the early going, you have to be a people pleaser to get customers, suppliers, and later employees to work with you. Oftentimes you become too nice for your own good. For the long haul to help you succeed, you periodically need to adopt more of the attitude of a dirty Harry for the toughness to help you make your day. The entrepreneur's Yoda knows these things. He's been there. May success be with you.